back to me Cause I'm the best baby that they're never gonna keep One, two, three, they're gonna run back to me They always wanna come, but they never wanna leave Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have made this really fun soft girl makeup look na parang tinatawag nila as hindi daw talaga siya e-girl. Bukod siya sa e-girl, it's a soft girl makeup look and sobrang na-inspire lang ako kasi I've been looking up on the internet about aesthetic makeups and mostly ang mga nakikita ko ay mga e-girl makeups and yung soft girl makeup. So I think this will only be my first attempt. I think this will only be my first attempt on the soft curl makeup look. And anyway, I hope you would like this tutorial. And if you want to recreate this look, then keep on watching. So, I'll just lift my bounce first. Okay, so first I'm going to use this M Plus Madeca Seed Sika Cream from Caris. This is one of my favorite moisturizers because this is really, really moisturizing. Next, for my foundation, I'm going to use this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2 in 1 foundation plus concealer in 1. I've chosen this one kasi mataas yung coverage ito since this is also a foundation and a concealer in 1. Kini claim talagan to that it has that medium to full coverage and the coverage is also buildable. Although ito pang mga full face makeup lang kasi if you will use it for an everyday parang masyado siyang pakak or masyado siyang mabigat. And then I'm going to use this wet blending sponge para i blend silang lahat. Next is I'm going to use this Maybelline H3 White Eraser of Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers and as you can see, sobrang ubus na siya kasi nasa ko na lang. Kukonceal ko lang yung under eyes ko or medyo forward ko lang siya, i-highlight na. Dalagay ko na rin siya sa eyelids ko para siya rin yung maging eyeshadow face. I'll use the same blending sponge. So next is I'm going to use this Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral since this is a really great loose powder. Yun nga lang, ayoko sa kanya. Ay, masyado siyang mabango as in sobrang bango niya. And kung kilala niyo ako, of course, alam niyo na meron akong allergic rhinitis. So ilalagay ko lang siya dun sa parts na gusto kong i-bake. Next is we're going to move to brows. At medyo itatanggalin ko lang yung excess powder na nilagay ko sa may brows ko. And then I'm going to use this one. Actually, binigay lang to ng mother ng boyfriend ko sa akin kasi hindi daw nag-work para sa kanya. So this is the Absolute New York Brow Pencil with Brow Pomade. So meron siyang Brow Pomade dito. At nagustuhan ko yung shade niya nung tinatry ko siya one time. So ito yung tatry ko. Huwag niyang pansinin niya ang lashes ko nung namutay kasi nga binibake ko sila. <laughs> anyway, so yan. Okay, so now we'll move to eyeshadow. First, I'm going to put on this concentrated amount of brown shade from my Morphe 5 c palette. So I will be concentrating the eyeshadow or the brown shadow here in this part and then also here in this inner part. And then when I look straight like that, ilalain ko siyang paunti-unting ganyan. Dun sa kung saan yung nag-end yung crease ko, ganun. Tapos, tsaka ko siya, I'll look down para makita ko yung uncreased look no eyeshadow and then i-intensify ko pa siya. After that, kukuha ko ng mas dense na eyeshadow brush, katulad dito, at blend out ko siya outward so that it will look blended and good. <laughs> After that, kukuhain ko naman itong parang toasted red color at ilalagay ko rin siya or papatok ko siya dun sa brown na nilagay natin kanina. And then, kung nakikita nyo, medyo pinapa-outwards ko siyang V, katulad nyan. And then, I'll use this darker brown shade para naman, para magbigay ng mas, much more hallowed eyes look. Para mas i-intensify natin yung look ng kaunti pa. Always, always blend. Next is I'm going to use this Stay It na Pot Eyeshadow from the VTX VTS Collection or Cosmetics Collection. Gagamitin ko naman sa kanya ay yung pink color dito. Ayan. Tapos ilalagay ko siya dun sa may part na hindi ko nilagay ng eyeshadow a while ago. Next. 
Next is, kagamitin ko naman yung flesh na shimmer naman sa ibabaw ng pink. At ito ay concentrate ko sa pinakagitna. Kung nakikita nyo, mas mataas yung shimmer niya. And then, after that, I'm going to use this Caroline Graph Ink Liner. This is a really good eyeliner that you can find in the drugstore kasi sobrang pigmented niya. Next, I will be using this lashes that I bought from Shopee. I will link it below. Pero kung bibilhin nyo siya, it's G812 kung nakikita nyo. This is its original state and kung nakikita nyo. Tapos, kinocustomize ko siya at ginugubit ko siya kung paano ko siya gusto which is like this. Or ito. Ito yan. So, ayan. Kinocustomize ko lang. Itong G812 yung pinaka-customizable na pwede nyo mabili. Hindi ko alam kung totoong minto or po. Para sa akin kung gusto nyo mag-customize since its length is not that long. I mean, it's really long, pero sobrang cute niya lang i-customize. So, I will be using my customized lashes. So, now, I'll just apply my false lashes. By the way, I used the eyelash adhesive that I bought from Nichito. If you're curious how it looks like, this is how it looks like. Sobrang liit niya lang. Now, I'll just get the toasted red color or brownish red color that I used earlier on my lids para naman smoke out tong under eyes ko. Now that we're done with our eye makeup, we're going to move now to our face makeup. First, tatanggalin ko lang yung excess powder na pinang-bake ko kanina. And then I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee kasi this is a really good um, contouring... Kasi this is my favorite contouring powder. Ang ginagawa ko lagi pag nagko-contour ako, kuha ko, tap on the excess, and then, pabilog siyang ganyan. Start here. Sa may start ng tenga ko. And then, pababa. Pabilog pa din yung pag-ano mo, paglalagay. Tapos, when you do this, nakakita nyo yun. Kung saan nag-end yun, ganun. Of course, my forehead. Now for our blush, I'm going to use this one from Morphe 9D Palette. What I'm going to use is this mauve pink color para we can still stick to neutral colors habang binibigyan ng buhay yung kulay ng makeup ko. Next is, I'm going to make my lips a lot more smaller than it is. And then, I'm going to use this, uh, this is from the Pinkest Collection, their Smooth and Silky Long Liner Pencil. Para lang ilain yung lips ko, yung sa shape na gusto ko. Next is, I'm going to grab this one from Maybelline. This is their Sensational Liquid Matte. And this is in the shade Nude Shot. So, sobrang feel nude nitong color na to. And then, I'll go over it with this from the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte. And this is in the shade Get Undressed. Next is we're going to move to highlighter and I'm going to use this one from Maybelline. This is their Master Chrome by Face Studio Illuminating Metallic Highlighter. And this is in the shade Molten So, ilalagay ko lang siya parts na gusto kong i-highlight of course. Okay, so my, as my gloss, I'm going to use this Lucas Papau ointment. Sobrang glossy niya pag ginamit mo as a lip gloss. Wait, di ba pala ako tapos? Kasi, I found this. So, gusto ko maglagay nito dito sa may tag-isa lang. Okay, so, yan. Ngayon, fix ko lang yung hair ko na lang. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something Okay guys, so that's it for our tutorial for today and I hope you had fun watching it and I had fun doing it and thank you, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.
Bye.